All right, hey, um, like three days later, Kev, equipment that I would go for on the stick is actually um, don't use a stabilizer because it does not need a stabilizer whatsoever. So I wouldn't use a stabilizer. I'd use like vents or IRM or something like that. This is the loadout I've been using, so. And it's been working out really well. So uh, this is the equipment loadout I would suggest. Um, you could change the vents out for something else if you wanted to. But this is what I've been using and it's been working perfectly fine. Uh, I guess also you could just like drop the vents for hardening, so. Yeah, hardening turbo rammer would, would actually be pretty good on this thing, so. Anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know. Bye. So I'm going to start this video a little differently than I normally do. We're going straight into the game before I start talking. Because we're playing the M454 and there's not really much for me to say about it because I only have like 10 games in this tank. Uh, this is the first time I'm playing it after it's been buffed. Uh, obviously the the eight line exists on this map so I'm probably gonna go there uh, um, yeah so, let's get straight into it this time no no delaying no talking about the tank beforehand I'll talk about the tank when we get back to the garage how about that Seven eighty seven oh five spotted on the other side of the map. Which means I'm gonna push this a little aggressive here. Got to here. Yes, please. And bang. Yes. That's just bad aim. Um, that wasn't bad M. Okay. We didn't penetrate their armor. Loading only gold rounds because the standard rounds in this tank are dog shit. 670! Woo! I feel like I'm playing a 60 TP or something. When we get rid of that Jaeger, I don't have to worry about that. He just shot an HE round for 700 into my turret, dude. What? Can you just straight pen the uh, cola? Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm dead. Well, other than taking 600 damage from a fucking Jaegeru's AG round, the tank held up ridiculously well. Um, I just played incredibly aggressive, and uh, my team didn't even want to peek for the corner. So, so uh, it's it's Himmelsdorf, and our ABR hasn't died. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but who knows? He might survive this game. He just saved himself a ton of credits on repairs. Probably he didn't fire any ammo too, so I mean... Ah, oh, that's so annoying! Warhaming, why would you make that a thing? Ugh. The tank feels a lot better. That's all I can really say. The gun handling's not dog shit on this gun anymore, which is... quite good. So, what did they buff? They buffed the gun handling, they buffed the DPM, they buffed the HP, and they buffed the side armor? And... Potentially the frontal hull a little bit. It's a complete tank rework for the most part. And I think they also buffed the engine power. I think they did something to the mobility also. I don't, I'm not sure about that, but I think. Might have made it a little bit quicker. 
I don't have the patch notes on me, so I can't really say for certain what exactly they did. Because I don't know. Um, but I'm making the video on it anyway, so. Mobility feels more or less the same. That's what I remember. Also, if you can't tell, um, I did get a, a, a better graphics card. Um, went from a 1050 to a 1070. Both were TIs. Hit points for me. You can drive like that. I get inside of the sixty. Put my tank up over this. Then we have an angle on the seventy-five. So if he backs up at all to take a shot, he dies. That's basically how this angle works. Just like that. Mouse pins whatever the fuck he just pinned. Sixty, you are making this very difficult. Yeah. Co-balancing act here. Oh my gosh, yeah, the co-factor is in play. Why is this Yag Tiger like hard pinging me for no reason? You're all affirmative and, and then just ignore it. He's really trying to snipe through a fucking window from the back of the mountain. Alright, fuck it. I'm letting the 62 be at it. I don't know who the fuck it is. What is this dude's problem? Oh my god, D30, please. Thank you. There's nobody gonna peek that.
they're going to push eventually. Patton was the only one spotting that. Now the SCB can just sit in this bush. That was just a shot to fire a shot. Uh, now the Patton dies for nothing because he was an idiot and didn't spot them. Instead he decided to fall back because he's got scared. Potentially detrimental to the of the game. God, this gun is amazing. I love this gun. How did I get spotted? I really could just get spotted by an STB. Oh, pokey. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Ah! You kind of baited me. He's watching that angle. He's dead. I don't know what he was doing. Alrighty. Yeah, Tiger just needs to spot that STB. That STB is just sitting there for some reason. Since I don't really need to worry about him. A low roll. Nice. This gun, dude. This gun is too good. This position is really good too. Cause they're keeping the, the STV from poking me. I can just hold this angle a little tighter, actually. Push the city, guys. Come on. Well, that's good enough. I was kind of expecting that angle to be held a little better, considering we've won the entirety of the rest of the map. But 7,300 combined? Not too bad for the second game I've played in the tank in uh, over six months. Shouldn't be any blind shots in there. So we'll go next. See you guys in the next battle. Oh my god, it was a victory. Who would have thought? Mines. Top tier mines. Ooh, juicy. I'm playing for the hill. Eight degrees of gun impression is more than the E75 or the 705 has, so I'm playing for the hill. Hopefully, I can play for the hill well. I'm not going up the hill, I'm just playing up there.
That was a what the fuck? That's dumb. I didn't even hit the rock. It was just a badly modeled rock. A bulldog is faster than an ELC. <laughs> what? Is the coons going for it? He's not going for it. Oh, I was gonna like sneak a shot in. I couldn't. I fucked. Now I just sit here and wait. Alright, that's all the damage we're gonna get out of the early part of this game, so. Time to relocate. To fight a E100 and a Tiger 2. E100 just fired, so I have plenty of time to get into position to start to own him. His backup is now dead. He is all alone. There's a Udez and a Tier 8. Heavy tank. I thought those were tank destroyers. Oh, that's a T95. Oh, shit. I gotta dive into the corner. He doesn't. I'm gonna get a little more creative on my angles here. I really need him to peek that again so they can't just shoot. Okay, now I can get to the house, which then I can get to that. Okay. Just pathing everybody, so you don't take any damage getting to position. And this E, this E100 is not going to be ready for me. It's looking to trade, and we put 660 into him. Look at that. Pathing is very important in this game. wasn't. But I reload before the E100 does. He already fired. He's gonna have to bounce my shot. And you're not going to. Oh, you did, you bastard. He didn't get the shot off in time. Oh, he's reloading.
Wait a minute, why can't I spot a 705? Need him to bounce the shot and then I back out. Yeah, I just needed to move. They have five tanks in the fucking nest, dude. Love how he can keep me spotted for that long, but I couldn't spot him like point blank. That's great. They really need to kill him. <sighs> I had to try and cross there. I didn't spot him early enough either. This is like the longest mines game I've ever seen. Dude, they literally have five tanks sniping in the back. They are playing like pussies and getting away with it. It's really annoying. Anyway, we'll check the stats. And, uh... Top this video off. Alright, so, uh... One of them was a high caliber confederate. So that's good. The first one kind of sucked, but it was 1800 damage, so nothing to scoff at. Um... Second one was 6k, so that really brought the average up. And then the last one was 3k, so it kind of just kept it at the average. So overall, 3600 DPG for the for those three games. Only one win out of the three, somehow. 5-1 uh, to one damage received to uh, caused, or 1.5, and then 1.33 frags. So, I think the AMX M454 is in a pretty good spot. May finally be competitive. Uh, <laughs> and I don't even have any field mods on, I guess. So, <sighs> if I get field mods going, uh, it's probably going to be pretty pretty competitive. Especially the, the aim size and uh, probably the view range, honestly. I know most people take stun. I'd rather just go for the... Gear range. GG's and a goodbye.